On bank holiday weekends, the Yorkshire Dales are a magnet for tourists. <laughs> Traffic cop Sergeant Pete Stringer and PC Kyle McBride are in the Yorkshire Dales for Operation Boundary, cracking down on bank holiday motoring offences. The whole county changes on a, on a bank holiday weekend. The reason we're stopping you is because of your ridiculously small number plate. I've left my uh, picture plate on. Please don't act all surprised, they've been doing this too long. The games we play. That's the correct size, the correct font, the correct colour. Obviously, you've left the film on there. That needs to come off. These need to come off because they're offensive. The biggest demand every bank holiday weekend throughout the summer months is always motorcycles. 1% of road users are motorcyclists, but then they make up to 30-plus um, percent of the fatalities or the seriously injured statistics. Ooh. So our aim today is, is to try and keep people alive. You know, if we can get hold of that first motorcycle that's riding antisocially, uh, maybe send them back home with the tail between the legs, they might pass that message on. Any idea why I might have stood here talking to you? Well, took up my line. You did, mate, yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. No worries, mate. I'll have you on your way very shortly. Is your licence clean and full at the moment? Three points. What are your three points for? Speeding. Well, guess, guess what the outcome's going to be this time. Do you want to have a guess? Well, no. Well, I could ban you if you want, but I was thinking I was thinking another three points for speeding, yeah? It's not about persecuting motorcyclists at all. It's about trying to make the road safer for everybody to get around. That sort of colour? It's both from an enforcement point of view. Is it going to get pinged by, say, three camera vans? And secondly, Kyle, are you going to be long? Because he can have a ticket for that. Whilst it may seem relatively small and insignificant to be prosecuted for your number plate or your exhaust being too loud... You beeped at me. Why? Sorry, I wouldn't... Well, it's well, going to cost you. Yeah. Yeah? Later on, that person fixes that defect. They're more likely to be compliant with the other laws of the road. So a little thing leads on to bigger things. An hour into the operation, the officers spot a speeding rider. That's definitely going for some. since the 11th of April, this one. Right. So before we go any further, I'm going to caution you. Yeah. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when question something which you later align in court. Okay. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Yeah. Any idea why we might be stopping talking to you? That's one. Exhaust. Two. Keep going. Speed. Right. Absolutely screaming up the road. Yeah. It's a 50. Do you know how fast you were going? No, no. Well, we had to do 100 just to keep up with you. Okay. All right. So, yeah, full house. It's the first time we've been out since right. around December. Like, I should have checked. It's my fault. It's my yeah, fault. yeah. I'm not, I'm not... So what are you intending to do now, bear in mind? Turning back and going back. If I knew, I, knew I wouldn't have been out on it. 100%. I didn't know. Straight home. Yeah, nice sedately. All right. No worries. Thank you guys. The rider is reported for a number of offences. Oh. But as Pete and Kyle pull away, they spot another biker. motorcycle in front that was doing 70 and a 50. Um, just as we came around the corner, as you can see, it's uh, solid whites, um, and he's overtaken a VW Polo, contravening the solid white line system. Yeah, he's obviously not paying any attention. Um, because at the moment, he's uh, not stopping. Currently failing to stop.
I haven't seen him look in his mirrors once, but the sirens and... Uh... Yeah, we're continuing 7-0. Already being wrong side of double whites. Turn it off! No! The bloody hell are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Get off the bike! Get, Get off! off. Stops. Before we go any further, you're cautioned, OK? You don't have to say anything, but it may harm any defence. Just listen to me. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm any defence. You're not meant to one question. Something which later on, anything you say may begin Evans. I've been trying for miles to stop you. Why haven't you stopped? Before you get yourself arrested, why did you not stop? I haven't seen you. Why didn't you see me? Because I've been looking in your eyes. So you're admitting you care to me, is that what you're saying? No, I'm not admitting you care. Take I'm your helmet off. Call. Take your helmet off. What I'm bothered about is the manner of your riding, yeah? I don't think I was riding at all. You're doing 17 of 50 in the Lancashire bit. You then come into North Yorkshire and overtake on solid white lines. That's offence number two. Yeah, okay. I've informed my control room that I've got a motorcycle failing to stop because I'm sat behind you with my blues and twos on for miles. Do you want to continue this conversation at custody? No, thank you. Are you known to the police? I'm not known to the police, no. So why aren't you checking your mirrors like a careful and competent rider? Because I just set off on a nice ride, it was a nice day, and I... Right. I'm sorry. And you're exempt from the law because? Look, I've done something wrong. Mm -hmm. I accept that. Please... Well, you've committed three offences, yeah? Please take whatever action you've got to do. OK. okay. Well, we will do. Well, I'll admit... And that is your opinion. ...overtaking over a white line. Which is but against the law. It is against the law. You're right. I had a good visual sight. You were, you were also... No, 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 no. It it's against the law. Okay. So what about the speeding? You were also speeding. I thought it was 60 mile an hour. It's an air road, 60 mile This is 60. Hour. Back where you overtook was a 50. Well, I'm sorry, the, the speed... I, right. I again, it was a 50. again, following on from that, we've then followed you for some time, blue lights and sirens. We've been trying to get your attention by moving left and right behind you. We've been sounding the horn. I had my music on. Right. Sorry, but you're still supposed to be able own. to hear what's going on around you, I aren't you? Be able to hear because you other, the otherwise. Noise of the right. You can hear over the sound of the engine. It's I think by the real aim the of limit. this is these two policemen are out to catch a motor motorcyclist. You're entitled to your opinion. The way that you two got out of that vehicle was so aggressive. Because you'd failed, me. You'd failed yeah, to yeah. stop. You'd failed to stop. I ran over to you, I commanded you to turn the bike off if and I took the keys out. Face, I'd have thought I'd have shot someone. We haven't made any comment on who you are well, as a person. When you got out of the car, you thought I was some nasty we, criminal we'd trying followed. to get away with no insurance. But how do I know? Way. How do I know? How do I know who you are until we've got you stopped? The who, fact that you who, failed to stop. Whoever you police. approach as a policeman, you should not do right. it in that angry, right. nasty attitude. I want you to listen to me, please. I'm listening. What we're doing today is trying to keep the roads safe for everybody. The roads are going to be busy, and OK? You... Whether you're on to... Listen to me, and then you can have your say. If you keep interrupting me, it's going to take us a lot longer, isn't okay, it? Yes. OK? Yeah. So I'm patrolling one of the roads where, statistically, we have most accidents with motorcycles, yep. OK? That lad that we were at that junction when you came past us. We're going to have another if we don't move. But again, it's your fault that we stopped here, yeah? It'd be your fault if no, it was well. an accident. No, it won't. Be yours. So, we're dealing with that other motorbike that was doing best part of 100 with three It'd fences. It'd be my fault. So you're not going to listen to me? Here. OK. You'll yeah, get your pa you'll get your paper to the post. I'm not going to talk over you. Go you're reporting for failing to stop for police, excess speed, contravening double white lines, and obviously for failing to stop. Sorry, officer, but That's your I'm fault. not seen you. Right. But if you're going to let me talk, I'm trying to save people's lives today. That is why I'm here. Putting people's lives in danger. Well, driving at excess speed, yes. Contravening solid white line system. Yeah, we're getting towards dangerous riding, aren't we? Can you keep talking and we can take your licence off, yeah? I did that, yeah. Yeah? You did. OK. Any further questions? No. you receive a summons through the post. I look forward to seeing you at the Magistrates Court. OK, thank you very much. Please don't ride like that again. I think what a lot of people don't realise that being allowed to use the roads is a, is an entitlement rather than a than a given right. Up sixteen foot. You need to make sure that you've got your attention focused at all times on what you're doing, so that you don't kill or seriously injure yourself or somebody else. You know your life can change literally in the blink of an eye.
just the whole manner of his riding, even his attitude when he had eventually been stopped by us. Couldn't hear you, couldn't see you. Well, a careful and competent rider would be checking the mirrors very frequently. Clearly, he could have heard the siren if he'd actually bothered listening. He could have seen us in his mirrors. He just couldn't be bothered. My whole reason for going to work over the bank holiday weekend was to, to simply try and keep people alive. If by clamping down on the smaller things impacted on how they rode later on, then that was job done to me.